was the first time I had ever had a class where rattlesnake bites could be a problem. We came to Hell's Canyon for our Wilderness 351 class. What we learned cannot be explained in a pamphlet, nor can it be measured by a test. Seeing columns of basalt rising 30 feet or more from the river impresses more than reading about the movements of tectonic plates. Hiking through land with this much history teaches more than reading from a textbook, or discussing values that different people have held about Hell's Canyon. This hot country gives I took this class to fill school requirements, and because my friends had told me it was a good experience, I had no idea what I was going to experience. Soyapo, white people. I had seen my classmates on a weekly basis for two months before we traveled up the Snake River. Yet, in the time we shared there, I feel like I met them for the first time. Maybe I had. Amidst the hiking, lecturing, and feasting that we did at the Garden Creek oh, Ranch. That looks like a tree. It does. It looks like the inside of a tree if you were to cut it up. Okay, it's just very dense fibers. Oh, very dense here, fibers. Here, grab a little piece. Taste it. We also formed a drum circle at nights. At first, our attempts were less than successful. Am I going to break it? At the end of the week, we were able to hear what other people were bringing to the circle and respond in such a way that in five days, we went from this to this. Something about the fire, the river, and the moon made it easy to forget our worries and find a moment of peace. Moments like that are too few in everyday life. This class helped me remember what I valued as a child. There is more to life than offices and books. There is a whole world that we are in. As we grow up, we begin to think of that world as out there. What this class reminded me of is that out there is where we are. It can feel wrong that it is never doves, themselves impassively writing of doves, of the rain perhaps, or the pain that they just, with a round little eye, see me so blurly through. Our class arrived here at the Hills Canyon when the balsam root was blooming on the hills. Each blossom, an innocent bystander quietly watching us through the week, sometimes even becoming a victim of our learning. Getting off the boat, we were greeted by our classroom, the place we would be staying, studying, our minds open, ready to adapt to unfamiliar perspectives for even the briefest of moments. <laughs> Being the glass we humans see so blurrily through put invisible restraints on us. They are extremely difficult to clean. The tasks and luxuries of our lives vacuum our attentions, and the view around us can get stale. Inspiration is renewed when we see again for the first time. This class was exactly the opportunity for a few chosen students to clean their window panes. bonded these students together, and the intimacy that began to form between the students and nature had the potential to be magical and enlightening. Exploring the wilderness of Hell's Canyon in this way, through geology, botany, history, and the arts, is a learning style not often taken advantage of by colleges and universities. We were not simply reading a book and doing worksheets, but digging, touching, tripping, smelling real natural elements. You have not touched a flower until you have hacked it apart, nor has it touched you. At the end of the week, I wondered, 
Have we come close to cleaning the blur off our panes of glass? Have we let the balsam root speak for itself?